Thousands of cases of child abuse go unconfirmed every year in Iowa because there's not enough evidence of them. Tonight, researchers at the University of Iowa are working on a possible solution, cameras with artificial intelligence that can detect violence. Iowa's News Now anchor Nicole Dantzler is getting us a closer look at the project in a new special report. This is uh, Frank. He's just uh, uh, our guy here. In a state of more than 800,000 children, there are hundreds of security cameras to help keep them safe. But it's just not possible for a team of people to monitor all cameras 24 hours a day. So Kareem Abdelmalek, the director of UI's Technology Institute, is calling in artificial intelligence to assist. He's developing AI awaken cameras aimed at catching child abuse in real time. So it captures everything. The cameras would use AI to detect violent behaviors, and if child abuse is spotted, the owner of the camera or police would be notified. Anybody that can cannot speak for themselves. It would be wonderful to have some sort of a system that can monitor, alert, and speak on their behalf when they need it. But this project needed some extra hands, so Abdelmalek called Aislinn Conrad. I'm sure you've gotten phone calls or kind of offers out of nowhere that you just know, even from someone's tone of voice, that it's going to change everything. Conrad is an associate professor of social work at UI. She says research shows child abuse is a staggering widespread problem. Most of these cases are based on circumstantial evidence. So it's eyewitness testimony, it's looking at bruises, but it's not based on the actual interactions between the victim and the perpetrator. And that has led 975 perpetrators to walk free out of every thousand because of this evidential problem. Data from the Iowa Department of Health and Human Services shows more than 5,000 child abuse assessments were founded in 2024 from January through November. However, more than 14,000 were not confirmed, meaning there wasn't sufficient evidence to substantiate the abuse claims. So the longer we go on without interventions, it's worse for the victim. What this system does is it quickly intervenes. So the minute that something violent is detected, it turns on. So you're not going to experience abuse after abuse after abuse. Some are in favor of it, like the country's third largest nursing home company while others are wrestling with ethical concerns posed by AI. People now are very worried about what AI can do. I think the idea of good versus bad, I believe good will always prevail. But there's a lot of work to do first. Let me show you some more. I mean, right now, they're working on training the cameras and securing funding. I think we're almost there uh, in terms of uh, finalizing the product uh, on the technology side. Advancing the software is going to be critical because there's so many types of abuse. 7.2 million children abused. In a world where every second counts, they hope this AI camera system plays a critical role in keeping people safe. I think we really have a chance to change the paradigm of violence and raise awareness and to do something different. And I truly believe that this system is a way to do that. Family comes back, says, you saved our kid. I would ring the bell and say, we've done something really good. Nicole Dantzler with that special report tonight. These systems are still in their development stages. There are hopes that a volunteer network can be in place by the time the system is ready to roll out. The goal is to make that happen sometime next year.